Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be using your Honda Odyssey to tow a trailer, you gotta have trailer lights installed on your vehicle. It's, it's the law, so let's go ahead and get right to it. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Um, I'll be installing a four flat connector. Honda did a really good job at prepping the vehicle for towing. Um, we've got two connectors here that's going to plug right into a uh, fuse panel here. So I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and take that off, show you right where we go. Set that aside there. Okay, and as you can see, we have two connectors that plug into this fuse panel. Um, the white connector will only be used if the vehicle is equipped with reverse sensors. Um, the, way, the easiest way to know that is the, the plug-in that we are gonna be using for towing will already have a plug in it. Um, you would just unplug it, plug this in, and then go ahead and plug in the other connector where you just unplug. So this one doesn't have that, so we're gonna not use the connector with the white wire. So now we're just left with this one connector. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Clips right in, and then the rest of this will get tucked in. So. Now we're left with all this wire here. Um, we wanna go ahead and pull this paneling out so that we can route it behind the paneling and then down somewhere to this area. We'll find a nice place to uh, store it when we're done. Also, we're gonna put a ground back in here as well. So let's go ahead and get this paneling taken off. To do that, we need to take the center paneling off. Okay, we're removing this cargo anchor here. Another one on the driver's side here and then one right here. The ones on the center panel look exactly like this. So I'll go ahead and just start by removing this one while I'm right here. It just unscrews. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now I'll go ahead and get the center panel anchors. Again, they just unscrew. Set that guy aside. And last one. Okay, now to remove this center panel, there's, there's, I believe there's four body plugs right here. Um, so we're gonna take a trim tool panel. We're just gonna kinda go under the paneling here and just kinda pry up. You can hear it unclipping as you do that. Okay, now that we have those unclipped, we just pull straight up. There we go. Set that aside. I'm just gonna pull this paneling just away from the body. It doesn't have to come completely out. We just want the rear portion away from the body. So again, take our trim tool, just pry it away. You'll hear it unclip as, as you're prying. Okay, and again, you don't need a whole lot of room, just enough to where you can route the wires back here and place a ground somewhere around this area. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, we're just gonna keep pulling all this slack out. I did find that there was a lot more room up a little higher here on the paneling. Okay, we've got our converter box and that's about as much as it's gonna give us. 
I also want to make sure that we get our ground wire pulled through. Okay, and here's our ground wire. We'll go ahead and just bring this down. Make sure that tucking it nice and neat. Make sure it's not in the way of any of the body plugs. Okay, now I just need to find a spot for my ground wire here. Um, looks like right here is going to be a really good area for me. So I'll just go ahead and place that there. I'll grab a tool and ground it right to the body here. Okay, so I determined that this was a really good area for our ground. It reaches right to that point. There is nothing behind there that's going to get damaged when I put my screw there. So. Go ahead and grab my drill. And perfect, there's our ground. Now we can go ahead and, perfect. Now we can go ahead and take the uh, paneling here and tap it back into the body. Make sure our plugs line up. That's all it is, is just tapping it down. Okay, now I want to find a nice place to store our four flat here and I think this area is going to be really good for that. So I'm going to go ahead and route our wiring underneath here, pull it straight up. I'll just kind of leave that there for now until I get our center paneling back in and then I'll tuck it back in here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab our center panel. Put this guy back into place. Just need to line up our body plugs here. Okay, now once we have our body plugs lined up, we just tap. Goes right back into place. Okay, and then we'll take our cargo anchors and screw those back in. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. They're just hand tight. Okay, last one here. Okay, now here's our four flat. And again, I, went, I'm gonna, I brought it through the, uh, this cargo area so that when you want to use it, you can just pull it straight out. It'll come right out the door, lay right over the door seal. You can shut the door right on the door seal um, and the wiring. It will not hurt the wiring. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that in just a minute here. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put our fuses back uh, into the fuse panel here. Also our connector that we did not use, that just gets tucked away. Okay, so on the back of this door, we have a fuse locator. It tells us exactly where our fuses are gonna go. So the wiring manufacturer gives us two fuses, two 7.5s and one 10 amp fuse. So we can see that the 10 amp fuse goes in this position, trailer position, 7.5 amp goes into this other trailer position here. And then we're looking for another trailer. Here we go, 7.5 trailer hazard. So we'll go ahead and put those in now. These guys are a little bit tight, so 
be patient. Excuse me. There it goes. Okay, we got our 10 amp fuse in. We'll go ahead and put our 7.5 in. Looks like it's gonna be second to the last. Okay, and then down on the bottom portion here, it'll be the center one. So the third one in. Okay, so here's our four flat and they provided dust cover. We'll just slide that over the four flat here and get it around the end. You're not using it, you'll just put your dust cover over just like that. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. When you're using a trailer, you'll be pulling it out of the rear door there and then it'll sit right on the door seal. And when you shut the door, it'll just close right on the door sill. It will not damage the wiring. Um, stay away from the center latch here. That portion will damage your wiring. So now that we have it set here, we'll go ahead and shut the door on it and show you how it works. Okay. You'll plug in your trailer just like that. Now we'll open the door again. And again, if you could see there that there is no damage to the wiring, no pinching or scuffing of any sorts. So when you're not using it, go ahead and put our dust cover back on. We'll fold it up. We'll go ahead and just tuck it in our cargo area here. Okay, and that's it for our trailer wiring harness install for the Honda Odyssey. Thanks for watching. Have fun and be safe. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.